Hello everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11 once again. My name is Jeff Aviano. Today we're going to check out the Virtual Fly Rudo rudder pedals as well as the TQ6 from Virtual Fly. This is a sponsored video, meaning they sent me these products for free for me to review. And in return, I am making a review video of those. So I'm just going to get that out of the way in the beginning uh, that I did not purchase these per se. We're going to go over the pros, the cons of each system. Uh, I've done a video on the Yoko Yoke in the past from Virtual Fly. So if you want to check that out, a link for that will be in the description below. And uh, you'll know what uh, yoke I'm using today. We are in the Twin Otter and we're at Princess Juliana airport here in st martin and we're getting ready to make a right turn out of here and go take off and check out what these peripherals have to offer here on the tq6 we've got the throttle prop and the mixture in this airplane in particular the mixture doesn't seem to work uh with this i could be wrong i think we just killed them i think we just killed them uh no they're fine now okay yeah i think it was just uh, a little strange we'll bring those prop rpms up there we go all right uh i, I guess it i guess it does something there so let's go ahead and uh release the parking brake and let's taxi down to the runway and uh, we have flaps set to 10 already uh and we're just gonna go have some fun here flying around the island while we talk about these products how about it now with the rudder rudder pedals you're noticing I don't have to slide my feet. I don't have to uh, do any sort of pushing down other than adding pressure right and left. This is very, very similar to how real rudder pedals are on per se a, or let's say a 172, a Cessna 172. Um, and they feel like them to me. When I was in Spain and uh, I got to fly their, uh, their different uh, full motion sims down there, uh, I got to try out rudder, uh, these rudder pedals right here. These rudder, rudder pedals. Man, say rudder, rudder pedals five times fast. Um, and I just fell in love with them. I think they are the absolute bee's knees when it comes to having rudder pedals for your simulator. Uh, so the biggest pro we can go over right now with the rudders, uh, the rudder pedals is that, uh, the build quality is second to none. It's absolutely amazing. Um, all metal, very, very heavy, um, and uh, it, it seems like it can take a beating, that's for damn sure. Another pro is that these have load cells in them, uh, very similar to what sim racing pedals have to give the feeling of a brake. The same thing is here. There are load cells in there, which give us that nice building pressure we have to push against uh, to make the airplane turn. Uh, we have tow brakes, of course, you know, stand on those if you want to. Uh, and the the biggest pro I can go over so far is the smoothness. Uh, I used to have a problem, and I thought it was like the, the different airplanes or X-Plane 11, the way it handled the ground physics uh, with my old uh, my old set of uh, rudder pedals. I had the Cytex, and it was just the build. It was just, they, they were not smooth at all. And with this, I can just add that power, and we're good to go. Let's go forward on the props and we will bring our power up and we will go take off power here and the best thing is the drifting on the runway it's eliminated completely uh, you see in here i'm just adding that pressure left and right and once you kind of get it where you want it's it's golden then just ease back on the yoke and we are flying how about that so fantastic that is the uh the main pros so build quality the pressure uh, that you need to uh, give on the pedal to make it work. It's just a very natural feeling. They're very smooth uh, and I have no runway drifting like I used to in the past. So that's really nice. One of the biggest cons of these rudder pedals, as you can see there, we're just giving it, we're just playing with them there, um, is the price. These are US dollars, $963. So, that is going to be one of the largest cons, um, but you get what you paid for when it comes to these kind of peripherals. Uh, and these things are an absolute uh, gem when you see the build quality of these things. I got to see how they were built while I was in uh, Barcelona, Spain as well. So another con I have to say is the size in the mounting. These things are huge. They're massive. 
uh, you'll notice there's holes drilled here at the bottom so you can mount it to a rig uh, or to anything else that you would like and uh, I think that's kind of a problem because if you're like me and you just have a hardwood floor you can't really do much with that you know they uh, the size of them uh, they, they they slide around they move even though they're really really heavy because how smooth that the base is on it um, and with that said the uh, let me pull this power back here with that said they yes they do slide around so they do come with uh, velcro so I velcro them to the floor it works <laughs> they don't move they don't budge it's pretty heavy velcro um, and it also comes with a belt to wrap around your chair so your chair doesn't roll back on you when you're applying pressure I don't have that hooked up right now uh, but it does come with that which is really cool and uh, you can also make some adjustments to the rudder pedals as well and there are uh, tools provided for that outside of that back over to the TQ, TQ6 uh, let's let's go over those the TQ6 throttle quadrant um, let's start with the pros feels like a real airplane it really does if you've ever sat in a beach baron this kind of feels like a beach baron um, as far as the feel of it uh, there are tension on each side of the throttle quadrant that allows you to change the friction lock um, and it, it just has a really nice feel to it uh, easy to mount to the desk there's a little normal thing underneath here you kind of just spin and you lock it into place so it will mount to a desk no problem uh, let's talk about some other things uh, the inputs on these are extremely smooth if I if I take out my friction here they just drop as you can see right there and these things are just really really light so let's turn some more friction up there and then you can adjust it but they are really really smooth as far as input goes build quality you can't you can't get around that Virtual Fly builds really, really, really good stuff. And uh, that is the reason why uh, when we get to the con, you'll know the price of it. Uh, talking about the build quality, these each are, uh, these uh, each lever is made of metal and there's a metal gear, but in the back, there's a plastic gear that's turning uh, with it. So I don't know, I wish I would, those would have been, you know, metal, but uh, it was, I, I, maybe it's it's a good thing because if one breaks or something it, it's easily replaced um, let's talk about the friction adjustment um, you have one on the left and you have one on the right uh, I like those they're very easy to use they make sense uh, and I, I just uh, can't say anything bad about it really let's talk about the cons I do, I do have a little little things here that I don't like about it um, let's start with the price US dollars here, $637. Now, if you don't want the six setup here uh, and you just want three of them, like a, like a you know, a Cessna or a Piper or something, let's slow down here. Let's, let's make our, our first landing. Um, you can get the two, TQ3 for $504, but these are $637. And of course, that's going to that's gonna be a pain in the butt for a lot of people um, when it comes to uh, parting with that kind of cash. Uh, these are not interchangeable. They're, you're stuck with a per turboprop setup. That's that's another con there. Uh, and the reverse detent down here is kind of strange because if I go into the reverse detent here, it's a very loud clunk kit there. Um, we're not in reverse or beta range. We are actually in idle. Uh, same thing can be said for the props. However, um, you can adjust that. I would. I guess you could just. What I would do is I would. Uh, calibrate it from here to there as the actual axis and then just use that as reverse so you could always do that there's nothing wrong with that um in the sound they're very loud when you clunk them down those those are really loud when you do that so keep that in mind as well all right let's go some more flap here i have not been flying the airplane i've been just messing around with this stuff here you know all right so now we're gonna have to use our rudder pedals we're turning final here over the famous Maho Beach. Looking very nice right now. I'm not going to go as low as I can go. Well, let's do it for fun. Let's go below the glide slope and let's just skim right off this, uh, this fence down here. And yeah, I mean, it's just really changed my flying in general. I never realized how much I needed 
or yeah, just how much I needed new rudder pedals and how much of a difference it really does make. Because when you're in this short final and you have to use your, your rudder pedals just in the very slightest, you just add a little bit of pressure and you are golden. We're down on just lack of that. Let's go ahead and open the reversers up. And we are on the ground. Awesome. So yeah, with the turbo prop, works great. I've uh, I've used the TQ6 with the uh, 737 or a 747, you name it, works great as well. Um, you can't do well. You could have these as your your four engines if you wanted to, and just use that as a four setup. But it's kind of strange. I wish these were interchangeable. That would be really really nice. Uh, but these are these these sort of uh, peripherals are designed for full motion simulators and and just big humongous sims in general uh, and they have pretty much just made them into modules that you can purchase separately so that is pretty much going to do it let's uh let's talk a little bit more about the the rudder pedals um i just cannot can't explain it if you've ever flown a cessna 172 like a real one or any kind of real world airplane you'll notice uh whenever you're going on your takeoff roll you add just that slight pressure adjustments on those uh pedals especially when you're at full speed you know on your takeoff roll uh and this replicates it very nicely it's just nice and smooth the toe brakes feel very very good um and uh, I just can't get over how realistic it feels on a takeoff roll. I've tried some other ones. Uh, I've tried, uh, I messed with the MFG crosswinds that were uh, at Flight SimCon. And those are fantastic as well. But these are uh, absolutely awesome. If, if, if you want them for real world training or something like that, you, you can't go wrong, especially if you're gonna be flying GA airplanes. On top of that, uh, the TQ6, it's just, uh, it, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's the way that you can change the friction adjustment on this and just get a really nice fine tuned throttle input. That is, uh, that's just, just something amazing about that. So yeah, that's going to conclude it for this. If you guys are interested in virtual flies, TQ six throttle quadrant or the rudder rudder pedals, Link for those will be in the description below. You can go check them out. Big thank you to Virtual Fly for allowing me to uh, have these here at my house and to review them and to let you know my impressions of them. And uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that video and it will uh, help you make a decision whether or not these are the pedals and or throttle quadrant for you. Let's go ahead and shoot these things down here. Kill the engines. And we are on the ground, safe and sound. That's what we like to see. Anywho, that's going to do it, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.